Hi, my name is Simon Coter, and I'm Director of Product Management for the Oracle Infrastructure Software. And today I'm going to share with you some of the capabilities related to instance management for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure by VirtualBox 7. So, this is the new UI that we have with VirtualBox 7. As you can see, we have a Redwood style. Um, yeah, and the new capabilities here, right? So, uh, under the OCI menu, we have the opportunity to manage and get access to more compartments. Um, and this is not the only thing that you can do, obviously. While selecting one compartment, you can easily see the configuration of each uh, instance uh, that is there and that has been added to, to the VirtualBox interface. And I'm saying this because you are not forced to see all the possible instances that are there in a compartment. From the VirtualBox GUI, you always have the opportunity to possibly add a, a specific machine to, to the VirtualBox user interface. Now, here VirtualBox is connecting and checking the list of different machines that are available. And between them, for example, I can select to get also the uh, management and so the access to uh, this instance that is there on OCI by clicking on finish. This kind of instance is going to be added to the list of instances that can be managed by VirtualBox. So again, while selecting the compartment, I can see all the configurations for my instances running in that specific compartment that has been added to the VirtualBox user interface. Uh, that said, other capabilities, other options that are available on the VirtualBox 7 UI, while selecting uh, an instance, you have the opportunity, for example, to get the same started. So this instance, for example, is stopped there on, on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. I have the opportunity to, to start that one. Obviously, if I have a, a running um, instance on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, I also have the opportunity to possibly shut down or force the power off or even terminate the cloud instance. That means power off as well as remove the, the um, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure instance there from the compartment. Uh, yeah, that said, the other great capability is the opportunity to create a new instance there on the Oracle Cloud. So while creating, you get access to all the possible images that are available on OCI, and you can select one of them. Uh, for example, let's select the Oracle Linux 9, the latest one, while clicking on Next. You have the opportunity to then define the configuration of the instance that you're going to create. I can select the shape. <clears throat> I can select the disk size. For example, I can decide to have 100 gigabyte, the network configuration, so VCN compartment, the VCN, the subnet. Um, I'm going now to leverage a public subnet because I also want to assign a public IP address. That said, under the SSH authorized keys, you also have the opportunity to add your own key for the key authentication versus the OCI instance. By clicking on finish, uh, you can easily see that a process start and here VirtualBox is interacting with uh, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Web Services API and creating a new instance on my OLD compartment. Initially, the instance will be inaccessible, will move to a provisioning state, and then immediately after that, as soon as the uh, operating system booted up, uh, the same would be in a running state. And here again, you always have the configuration of your instance. And the good point is that by clicking on the public IP address, I can copy the value to then connect to, to my instance running there on OCI. Uh, yeah, that said, let's see another very interesting point. Uh, you know, on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure for instances running there, we always have the opportunity to possibly connect to the console. So in case of issues, or maybe the networking is not properly working, um, over there on OCI, you have the opportunity to connect to the console of that specific VM. This kind of thing can also be done by VirtualBox UI. So with the right click on the VM, 
or on the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure instance, you have the opportunity to create a console connection. Automatically, you will get your SSH key added on this window, and you can just click on OK to get the console um, connection created by leveraging your private public SSH key that you have on your uh, local device. And as soon as the console uh, connection has been created, you have the opportunity to connect to the console of that specific uh, instance. Um, a pop-up will happen, so your default terminal will be opened. By clicking on OK, you will get access to the console of your Oracle Cloud Infrastructure instance. So all of those capabilities are part now part of the UI, and, and you have all the basic instance management options available on, 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 on Oracle VM VirtualBox 7. Um, and obviously, uh, yeah, and again, uh, as I said to you before, you can add an instance, you can create a new one. You also have obviously the opportunity to possibly remove one of those instances from the uh, VirtualBox user interface while removing. Um, you have two different options, remove only or delete everything. Remove only is just going to remove the um, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure instance from the VirtualBox UI. If you select to delete everything, it means that the instance would be terminated on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and, and also removed, obviously, from the VirtualBox UI. I'm now going to set remove only. And as you can see now, I only have those um, Oracle Cloud infrastructure instances available on my VirtualBox UI. Thank you for looking at this quick demo related to uh, the VirtualBox capabilities on managing Oracle Cloud infrastructure instances.